as most of you know that I've watched my channel. My name is Cheryl Wilson. I'm a abstract artist, but I currently live in the suburbs, Northern Virginia, near Washington, D.C. I used to work downtown Washington, D.C. on many contracts for a lot of the government agencies. And about seven years or so ago, I decided that I would um, leave a uh, thriving career and um, follow my passion, and that was to paint abstract paintings. I thoroughly enjoyed my job. Did not so much enjoy taking the Metro every day, but it was a fulfilling job. I actually owned my own company and I could do the contracts and the jobs that I wanted to do. But I found after my mother got Alzheimer's that that wasn't fulfilling to me anymore. And knowing that she wanted me to do a corporate professional job when she passed away from Alzheimer's, I realized, what if I got Alzheimer's someday? I hadn't fulfilled the passion that I really wanted, and that was to paint. So that's where I am today, is painting full-time as an abstract artist. And honestly, I'm glad I took that plunge. I sometimes look back and look at myself and say, wow, how did you do that? How did you leave a job where you were making a lot of money and you were happy and climbing the corporate ladder to start over again in a career that was so totally different? And I realized that it was a risk, but after all, wasn't I a risk manager and in compliance and ethics and project manager? Wasn't risk a part of who I was? But I don't honestly look back. I am very happy with who I am and what I'm doing today. And I hope I leave an impact in this world with my art. I know that people who have bought my art still tell me today how much my paintings mean to them when they see them because I really feel that I paint from deep within my soul. And I feel that a lot of who I am comes from everything that has made up who I am today, from childhood, the moving around I did with my dad in the military, the uh, even the jobs that I did, all made me a very strong woman and a woman that actually took a lot of risks in her career. To start my own company took a lot of risk and this encompassed who I am today as an artist. I still take risks. I take a lot of risk in my art. I love what I do today, and I guess I just wanted to share some of that with you. I know that part of the journey that I'm on in 2024 is the journey to really, truly find that deep, passionate voice of why I paint what I paint, why I like what I like, and what I want to portray on the canvas for other people to feel. I still love it when people come to me and they tell me that they connect with my art. Some of these people may not have ever even liked abstract art, but they connect. And I know part of that connection comes from what it is I'm putting on the canvas because the pieces of art that each of those people who have told me that there's been a deep spiritual and intellectual and inner voice connection with that particular piece of art every time and I want that for all my pieces and I'm still on the journey to find out how that happens and I still honestly feel that it comes from so many areas of who we are. And I mentioned this before, from the childhood to what makes us up, even the pains of the things that we've been through, each of those make us 
a certain strength of a person and that's what I want to have come out in my art. I want people to feel something. I don't have a problem painting over a canvas if I've painted it and I've let it sit for a while and it doesn't speak to me because then I know that the voice that I truly want to put out into the universe for people to see in my art is not there in that particular piece. So I wanted to express who I am as an artist. I've mentioned before, I've had an outside art studio um, around the time that uh, COVID hit, I closed all outside studios and uh, just paint from my studio in my home. And I really love it. I can spend as much time down there that I want. So I hope that makes sense to you. I hope you've gotten to know me a little bit better. I couldn't do a video about who I am without telling you that my, my faith in God is strong. I learned when I was a young teenager, right before I was a teenager, about God's love. And that's when I made the decision in my life that he was going to be the one that directed my path. Even when I went in the Air Force, I knew that that was a path that God had directed for me for a certain period of time. And when I got out and um, maybe that path was to meet my husband because that's where I met him. And I shortly after that started my career in the ground level and built it up. And then, of course, as I told the story, became an abstract artist. And is this where I'm going to stop? I don't know. I have so many things I want to do. I want to write children's books. I I want to spend a lot more time with my grandchildren. Maybe I'll even homeschool them. I don't know. But art and abstract art and paintings and teaching others what I know will always be a part of who I am.